In this video, I will be reviewing this Dell 24-inch monitor. The model of this monitor is S2421HN. In my review, I'll be covering the build quality of the monitor, the inputs and connections, the adjustments, and also I'll give you an overview about the specifications. Of course, also, I'll be doing a display quality test. So I'm going to be testing how the text will display on this monitor to show you if it's good as an office monitor. I'll also be doing a gaming test on it and I'll be doing some uniform color testing also. So let's start with the build quality. I'm going to zoom in so that you have a closer look to the monitor. The monitor has a good build quality and it has adjustment, only tilt adjustment. It doesn't have height adjustment. It has a very thin bezel on the top and on the sides. On the bottom, the bezel is a little bit thicker. The base is silver and the bezel is black. And the back of the monitor is like ivory white. I don't know about the mix of the colors, like the three colors. It's too much for me, I think. I don't know for you. Let me know in the comments below. I would have preferred, for instance, for it to be silver and black only or white and black only. It has on the back here a cable management system, a small cable management system. It doesn't hide the cables all the way, but nevertheless, it is here and it's good. One thing that you should pay attention about this monitor because it has a very thin bezel is that if you put a webcam on it, like this here, it will cover a small part of the screen. It's not a big deal, but you need to pay attention to this. Now, let me show you a little bit the inputs of this monitor. On the bottom of the monitor, you have two 1.4 HDMI ports and you have a jack output port. This is for your external speakers. The monitor itself doesn't have speakers integrated. And here you have your power connection. And this is a Kensington lock. When you first connect the monitor to your Windows 10 PC, if you open Device Manager, you notice under monitors that it recognized it as generic PNP monitor. So you need to install the driver. Let's go to Dell's website and install the driver. So go to support.dell.com and then hover over support and then click on product support. And here under search support, put the model of the monitor. So it's S24. 21 HN and select it and click on drivers and downloads. Let me click on accept all here. And then you see here when you scroll, you have the driver. So just click on download next to it. And once it is downloaded, click on open the file to install it. And here it will prompt you where it will extract the files. Click OK. And let's go under C, Dell, Drivers, and double click the extracted file, which is this one. Click Yes if prompted. Click Next. And then it will tell you that the driver was successfully installed. Click Exit, and let's check now. And you see now we have our correct monitor identified. Let me give you now an overview about the specifications of this monitor. So it is exactly 23.8 inches. It has an IPS panel. It is Full HD 920 times 1080 at 75 Hertz. And it has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. And it also has the AMD FreeSync technology. Now for the viewing angle of this monitor, it is really good. I put here a white picture so that you can see if I turn here the camera you see even at the extremities here, you still can see good here everything and the picture remains clear from all angles. Let me show you now a little bit how the text displays on this monitor. It is really good. You see it is crisp, it is clear, it has also clear edges, it doesn't flicker. This is from a big font to the smallest font here. 
and everything looks good so it is very good for office use let me launch a game now on it and see how it performs in the game gaming on this monitor is really a joy the colors are bright and the picture is sharp there's no lag at all and everything looks very clear you see maybe small pixels on the display and this is not something that you can see with your naked eye this is only the camera effect so overall in gaming the monitor is really really good let me perform now a screen color testing so i'm gonna display uniform colors on all the screen so that you see if it has like dirty effects or it has like some gray areas or something like this and as you notice like the display is really uniform and the colors are really good and sharp so this is the green this is the blue and everything is really working very good on this monitor let me walk you through the controls of this monitor so it has buttons on the bottom the most left one if you press it it will take you to the picture shortcut and the second one next to it if you press it it will take you to the input shortcut and the third one it will take you to the menu the first option is here you can adjust the brightness and the contrast if you go down you can here select the hdmi source so hdmi 1 or hdmi 2 or auto select and also here you can adjust the colors let me show you a little bit here you have preset modes you have standard comfort view movie frame per second rts and so on i'm gonna keep it on standard for me you have your input color format you have two formats rgb and yp pr so the next one is the display and here you have your aspect ratio and you have your sharpness here you can adjust the sharpness and for the response time if you're gaming on the monitor it's always better to put it on extreme so it will be super fast so here i keep it on extreme because i game on it and then you have here if you want to adjust the on-screen display menu so this is it here and here if you want to personalize also your shortcut keys and you have some other settings here an important setting in others is the lcd conditioning and this is if you see dead pixels or ghosting on your screen go to it and if you put it on on it will ask you if you want to run the program for conditioning the screen so if you press on yes it will go and do the conditioning of the screen and that was it for the review of the dell s2421 hn monitor i hope you liked this review and you found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i want to thank you all for watching until next time.